Namaste, everyone. Good evening, and thank you so much for being here on a Monday evening. I see there's someone here from the UK. It must be rather late for you over there. So welcome to this webinar, um, Diets Don't Work. And I should have a little caveat there is that diets don't work long term. And I hope that this brief and informative webinar will help you to see another way to get to a state of optimal health and optimal weight in your body. So welcome again. It is National Heroes Day here in Jamaica and I know many of you had a wonderful long weekend and we are all in lockdown at 3 p.m. So I just figured today would be a good day when you can't go anywhere to be on this webinar. So before I begin any of my webinars or classes or programs, I always start with a little bit of a centering. So why don't we take a few breaths together? I'm going to invite you to bring your feet flat on the, on the floor if you're on a chair or if you're in your bed, kind of sit up nice and tall or wherever you are, find a nice straight spine and get comfortable. Good, I'm in my chair, so I'm kind of going to move back a little bit. So my back is pressed into the back of the chair. My feet are flat on the ground and my spine is tall. Let's begin by rubbing our hands together. This is just a beautiful way to make a mind-body connection. So close your eyes. Feel the heat that you're generating from your hands being rubbed together. Good, your hands are directly related to your brain. So right away, you're making this mind-body connection. And as you go a little bit faster, you notice that your breath deepens. So now you're making a mind-body breath connection. Good, close your eyes, keep rubbing a little bit more vigorously, feel the heat, feel the energy for five, four, three, two, one. And then just gently place the right hand on the heart, left hand over the right. Let your shoulders melt away from the ears and let's begin tonight's webinar with five slow deep breaths. I'd like you to imagine as you breathe in that the breath is coming from the top of the head into your heart. And as you breathe out, your exhale is just magnifying your heart center, just magnifying your sense of presence and your sense of being together in this format and to really open your inner ear to listen and to receive. So hands on the heart, take a deep breath in. Imagine the breath coming from the crown of the head into the heart, good. And as you exhale, imagine any stress, anxiety, fear, negativity being taken away from your heart, emptying your body of breath. Good, breathing in from the crown of the head, into the heart, and as you exhale, let that exhale take away anything that's keeping you from this moment, present and connected and open. Good, three more breaths, slow, deep breaths, crown of the head to the heart, Good, think about the breath now, it's just magnifying your heart center, your soul, your presence. Good, one more time, deep breath in. And exhale it out. Beautiful, namaste. Welcome to those that just came in. So a quick question, I just want to check on the chat here. On your right-hand side, you'll see a chat. Eleanor, <laughs> so good to see you. Um, if you can't hear me or see me for any reason, place it in the chat. If there are any questions that come up while I am talking, I'm going to be taking breaks so that you can have um, time for Q&A. But if there are any questions that just come up, put them in the chat and I will address them. And this is the first time I'm actually doing a slideshow presentation on Crowdcast. So I'm going to Hope this all works, so awesome. Virginia said you can't see me. Okay, you're screen sharing, you don't see me, Virginia, on the left-hand side. 
Hmm. Okay. All right. Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go into the PowerPoint and then probably you'll see me after that. So I'm going to just switch over to here. Good. And I just want to know if everyone, could you just give me a little thumbs up if you can see this PowerPoint that says diets don't work. Well, they don't work long term. Let me know if you see that. Give me a thumbs up. Did everybody see that when I went over to PowerPoint? Give me a thumbs up if you can see that. I was there, but as okay, just tell me one more time. There's a big sign saying you are screen sharing. Okay, thank you. Hold on and let's see. Over here to hide. Hmm. Let's go here. Can you see that now? Can you see this big presentation? I hope you can. All right. There's a message over here to close this message. Does that work? Okay, plus one. No, that does not work. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this and I will check in with you in a second. I'm hoping that you're seeing this screen and this PowerPoint slideshow that says diets don't work, all right? So that was a big um, statement to put out there, diets don't work. Um, having been in this wellness world for over 30 years, this is my observation. Not that diets don't work, but in my experience, diets don't work long-term. So the dictionary, dictionary describes a diet as a special course of food to which a person restricts himself either to lose weight or for medical reasons. The diet industry is a $67 billion industry. The diet industry profits off the notion that you're not good enough as you are. And as human beings, or should I say spiritual beings having a human experience, we internalize that message and believe that we are less and need to fix ourselves. For many of us, the rules, control, and structure of diets are very appealing, but it's not sustainable, and I'm going to explain why. What we really need is a lifestyle, not a diet. All right, so I want to come over here. I'm going to come back here to Crowdcast, and I just want to, you can see it now. Okay, all right, awesome. Good. I'm going to continue then. All right, my beautiful friends. So some of you on this webinar tonight know me. Some of you don't know me. There's that beautiful glamour girl there with lots of makeup and nice hair, but I just came from the beach. Um, my name is Sharon Fiani. I am based here in Kingston, Jamaica. I am a wife and a mother of three, a master yoga teacher and a wellness warrior. That's what I like to describe myself, a warrior, somebody who has fought for wellness for the last 30 years. In fact, for as long as I have known myself, I've been a wellness warrior. I am also the author of the Live Fit Kitchen Cookbook, which I will show you guys after. The creator of Shakti Activation, which is a 7 and 21 day yoga detox and self-care program which I know some of you I can see on the webinar have been through my program before. And more recently, a new program called Shakti at Home, which is a 12-week total mind-body immersion. Right now, I have 25 women around the world on this program with me. We are in week number five starting tomorrow, and it's been absolutely amazing. I am a health coach. I host yoga and wellness retreats. I do corporate wellness, motivational speaker, and high vitality cooking workshops. My mantra has been and will always be live fit, live life, and live love. What does that mean? For me, in order to truly live life, you need to live fit. You need to have the energy and the vitality 
and the great health in order to truly live your life with passion and with purpose. And when you're living fit, feeling good about yourself, feeling in a state of optimal health and vitality, and that you are living a life of purpose and passion, whatever that means to you, and that looks so different for everybody, but something that you are leading a fulfilling life, then you fall in love with yourself. And when you're in love with yourself and who you truly are, you are able to love others. And for me, that is the ultimate goal, to live love every single day. So that's who I am. And moving along here. Okay. So I wanted to talk today about the five reasons why diets don't work. Number one is diets are not sustainable. The facts are 95% of people who diet end up gaining the weight they lost back. And of that 95%, about two thirds will actually gain more weight than they started out at. This game of losing weight and then putting back on weight, losing weight, putting back on more weight is actually very, very dangerous for your body. So, Hardcore diets where you lose a lot of weight very quickly are not sustainable. Diets, most of them, are a form of starvation. And what happens when the body goes into starvation mode is that we lower our metabolism, stimulating brain chemicals to make us think about food. We also, those chemicals also hold on to fat and shut down our non-essential systems. That's why you get sort of young girls who are anorexic, who are starving, who are then their reproductive organs shut down, their hair falls out, all kinds of things happen when you put your body into starvation mode. Diets also cause you to binge. Dieting and restriction, aka not getting enough energy and enough carbohydrates, causes us to binge. When we diet and then we binge, that brings on a host of other emotions like guilt and shame and causes us, most of us, to just actually jump off our program altogether, fall off the bandwagon, and all of a sudden you find yourself back gaining weight and not feeling good about yourself. Dieting also has this funny way of making you obsess about food. So... People often think it's their fault that they're thinking about food all the time. It's a biological reaction to restriction. Of course, you're going to be preoccupied with food because your body is hungry for fuel. When you are restraining and restricting your calorie intake so much, your body, your mind naturally wants you to think about food to feed it. And this starts that cycle all over again, all over again. And number five, diets are stressful. <laughs> we, you, uh, we're going to talk so much about this soon, but in order to truly lose weight and to truly be healthy, you have to be in an alkaline state. Stress causes your body to go into an acidic state. So we'll talk so much about this. So diets are stressful. And the last thing that we need right now in life is more stress. I want to help you to find not another diet, but a lifestyle that is going to be sustainable, that is going to be good for you, that will not include starvation, that will not make you want to binge or obsess about food, and will actually alkaline your body and de-stress your mind. All right, that's a big, big, tall order, right? So how did I get here? Um, my journey to wellness has been a long one that started with yoga, meditation, fitness. But my journey to true wellness began with a detox in 2012. So after a very challenging period in my life in, 25, in 2012, um, I, my, I had my, I'm a wife and a mother of three. My husband had 
to take a job across the island in Montego Bay. I live in Kingston. My youngest baby was six months old at the time. And I was seeing my husband once a week on a Saturday night, on a Saturday, and he left on a Sunday. I handled it pretty well the first year. The second year, I was beginning to find myself depleted and exhausted, and I started to get a nagging uh, digestive disorder that no doctors could figure out. But by year three, I was a complete wreck. I was suffering from severe indigestion. No medication would work. I was absolutely exhausted. I was depressed. And I decided at the time I couldn't handle it anymore. And I was going to move to Montego Bay to be with my husband and to have our family together and to get the support that I needed. This is when I looked in the mirror and I hardly recognized myself. I felt like I was 10 or 15 years older. I had 12 pounds of excess weight on my body. Um, I was couldn't stop crying and I was emotional. Um, and of course, suffering from this bloating and indigestion that was just debilitating. So during that time, I decided to put myself, when I moved to Montego Bay, closed my business in Kingston, I decided to put myself on a 40-day detox. In those 40 days, I put together a program that evolved from my years of studying and practicing nutrition, yoga, fitness, and meditation. You see, the year before that, I had hosted an amazing doctor called Dr. Alejandro Younger, who wrote the book Clean. Clean became the first detox best-selling book on the New York Times bestseller list. I had brought Dr. Alejandro Younger to my yoga studio to give a talk on detoxing. He had just written this amazing book. Um, I had the book in my book in my gift shop at Shakti, my yoga studio, but it was my life was so insane at the time with no husband three kids and a full-time business, which was my yoga studio and fitness studio, that I didn't really read the book or practice anything about in that book. It was only until I moved to Montego Bay, decided to do something about my health, that I read the book and started to put some of his suggestions in place. This program that I put myself on was so transformational, like everything that I do, that makes a difference for me, I decided to share it with others. And there, the Live Fit Detox program was born. Since September of 2012, I've led hundreds of people in Jamaica and online and all over the world on my seven, 21 day and now 12 week transformational journeys. So that is a little bit about how I got into the whole idea of Diets don't work. In fact, they exhaust you, they debilitate you, they cause you to get crazy in your head, <laughs> they stress you out. And I decided to help people to do a detox as a way to get their bodies into balance so that they could actually lose weight naturally. All right, so I'm going to come over, I'm going to take a moment now to see and make sure. Hi, darling. Okay, everybody, I just want a thumbs up if everybody's seeing the PowerPoint and you're hearing me well so I can continue. As I said, it's the first time I'm sharing a PowerPoint on Crowdcast, so it's a little bit different from what I'm used to on Zoom. Just give me a thumb point or you have been, I've just switched over. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm gonna continue. Hello everyone, all of you that are just coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So what we're gonna cover in this, talk, in this webinar quickly is the reason why I believe we're holding on to excess weight is not so much that we are overweight, but that we are in toxic overload. So we're going to discuss some of the 12 signs that you may be in toxic overload. 
why we are toxic, what the major organs of detox are and how they work and what happens when you are in toxic overload, why you need to detox before you can diet, why you need to detox in order to be able to get to a healthy weight for your body. And a healthy weight for your body is different for everybody's body. That depends on your bone structure. That depends on your age. That depends on your height. That depends on your goals in life. Most of all, we want to be healthy, right? I know a lot of very skinny people who are not healthy, all right? We're also going to discuss here easy ways to restore your energy and vitality. And then why the 80-10-10 rule, which is my sort of philosophy on nutrition, that we practice 80% of the time works. And then we will leave some time at the end for Q&A, question and answer, okay? So, oops, what's going on here? That's not what I want. Sorry, hold on, moving to the next slide. Why well, want to go to the next slide? Hang on a second, guys. All right, good. I'll try this again. Don't mess up on me now, guys. We're doing so well. There we go. All right. So I am going to list out now 12 signs that you may be in toxic overload. And then I'm going to come back to you. I want you, if you have a pen or paper, I want you to grab something close by or just type it in the screen, okay? I want to know if you are experiencing one or two or three or more of these symptoms that I'm going to talk about for an extended period of time. So let's say one of them is headaches. If you're getting headaches, you know, you've had them for a week, that's not a big deal. But if you've been experiencing for over two weeks then I want you to just write it in the chat and say yes I'm experiencing one of these two of these and if you feel comfortable name the symptoms that you may be feeling because this is important okay 12 signs you may be in toxic overload and need a simple detox are number one you are unable to lose weight no matter how much you diet or exercise, especially fat that is around the belly, around the waist, around the middle of your body. So you are dieting, you are exercising, you are doing all the right things, but no matter what, you are unable to budge the scale. That's number one. Number two, you're exhausted. You have low energy, you're always feeling tired, sluggish, lethargic, no matter how if you ate, sleep for eight or 10 hours a night, you're just not feeling yourself. You feel exhausted, chronically fatigued. That's like the whole world right now, right? We're all feeling really challenged in terms of our energy levels because there's so much coming at us. Another sign of toxic overload is sinus and allergy problems and constant congestion. I'm going to explain all of these in a moment. So sinus and allergy problems, migraines and frequent headaches. And I'm talking about the ones that debilitate you where you can't get out of bed. And I'm asking you to put these in the chat if you're experiencing any of these for over two weeks at a time. This is... The biggest one for me, the one that brought me to where I am today, I give thanks for the time when I was suffering from indigestion, bloating, frequent gas. No matter what I ate, my stomach blew up like a frog. I could not button my pants. I was, you know, bloated, feeling awful. Another sign could be constant diarrhea or constant constipation. You know your digestive system is just not working well. You know how that feels, right? You could be farting up a storm. <laughs> you could be burping up a storm all the time. Something is wrong with your digestive system. Another huge one, and I think again, during this pandemic has been major insomnia. You cannot sleep. You're tossing, 
you're turning, your mind is racing, you're again, it's causing you to feel exhausted, but you just have developed insomnia. Another one, skin irritations. So all itching somewhere in your body, maybe it's your scalp or your elbows or some weird place in your body, eczema, psoriasis, some kind of skin irritation that was never a problem for you before. Of course, this big one, anxiety, depression, and mood swings, please understand that toxins in our bodies, heavy metals in our bodies, pesticides in our bodies can cause or definitely attribute to anxiety, depression, and mood swings. Another one, severe PMS and menopause symptoms. So severe PMS, like we talked about the migraines, you just cannot get out of bed on the first few days of your period. You're exhausted, you're miserable. Or for many women, I'm seeing early, early onset of menopause and debilitating menopause symptoms. Another big one, joint pain and early arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. So even in young people, joint pain in their fingers and their toes and their knees and their ankles, swollen, not comfortable, unable to even exercise. Frequent colds and illnesses. You catch everything that is going around. <laughs> Nothing passes you without you getting it. And then another big one, so the meaning, when, and meaning that your immunity, your immune system is super low. And another huge one is unable to concentrate or stay focused. So I'm going to flip back to the screen now and I want to see, and please be honest here, guys, we're all in this together. How many of you have experienced one or more of these symptoms, if you want to even say what they are, for over... Um, two weeks at a time does anyone want to share how they if there are any of those 12 symptoms that they identify with and that they've been putting up with for the last two weeks or or so not the last two weeks but for over two weeks at a time it's persistent it's there it's part of your life don't be shy all right i'm going to continue but let me know if this is something, any one of these things that you've been struggling with. So what can you do about it? You can take medication to mask the symptoms. You have insomnia, you can take a sleeping pill, you have headaches, you can take pain medication, you have joint pain, you can take a leave, you have anxiety, depression, there are things for that and I'm not against medication at all. You can also pretend whatever your suffering with is just not happening right it's just you shove it under the rug and times and we are but you pretend they're not happening and you go about your life or you can wait till they're really really serious and then do something about it you see what these signs are these 12 signs are just right now little warning signs that your amazing body is sending out to you let you know that something is not right and they are just a little nudge to say take care of me do something about it at this stage these are nagging health issues it's when they flip over to be chronic health issues then we are really in trouble so you can take medication pretend they're not happening wait till they're really serious and do something or you can take control of your health right now naturally all right so why am i talking tonight about detoxing instead of dieting and i'm going to explain this and i also love this question of why you should always ask yourself why 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 am i dieting right why any decision you have you have to make in your life please spend a little time asking the big why right? In this case, why would you need a detox? The very sad and very short answer to this is because the world is toxic and therefore our bodies are toxic. And I think this pandemic, this coronavirus, 
this lockdown has become such a metaphor for our life, for the toxic world that we are living in, and that our bodies, our own physical bodies, are just a metaphor or a reflection of the toxic world that we're living in. And it is actually our responsibility to make changes about what we're putting into our bodies and to help to make the world a less toxic place. Just think about it. The reality is that we are breathing in toxic air. Think about it. Our poor lungs are breathing in toxic air all the time. We are drinking toxic water, whether they come from that plastic bottle that we're drinking out of, or it's water that's coming through the sky in the form of acid rain, or we're eating food that is full of pesticides and artificial flavorings and is so far from the natural source of where they were produced that it's making us sick. Another thing is the toxic products that we're putting on our body, on our skin. Hang on a second, I have to let my dog in. I'm just going to sweat. Seriously, come on, come on, come, come. Sorry about this, guys. This is our new online at home reality of animals and children and everything. So, yes, the average woman puts 512 toxins on her body before she goes out the door. Thankfully, the pandemic has caused most of us to be wearing less and less makeup and less and less beauty products. But in the past, the average woman, before she got out of the house to go to work, between the hair products and the hairspray and the body lotion and the perfume and the makeup and the lipstick and the nail polish, we are putting over 512 chemicals onto our body, onto our skin, that immediately gets absorbed into our bodies. We are also cleaning our home with toxic chemicals. If we were to ever really expect to research what there, you would be shocked. We are also getting toxins from radiation from our phones, our computers, and TVs. These little phones, you can't see mine, but our phones have now become a new body part, right? They are an appendage. These things carry radiation. These things emit radiation to our bodies, things that we don't even know yet or have studied. People haven't really even studied the effects that we're getting from our phones, our computers, and our TVs. Combine all of this with stress, toxic relationships, and workplaces, what you get is a body and mind so overloaded that it becomes out of balance and we find we're no longer functioning at a level of optimal wellness. So my friends, all these things, it's not just about the toxic air or the toxic water or the food or what we're drinking or what we're getting from our phones or the chemicals from our cleaning solutions. It is a cumulative effect of everything about living in <clears throat> the toxic world of the 21st century that is causing our bodies to not be able to process the amount of toxins that are coming in to our system. And therefore, we are disrupting the chemical balance of our bodies. We're disrupting our hormones. We are disrupting our metabolism. We are disrupting all the major systems in our body. in a state of balance and therefore our whole weight management becomes almost an impossible task. So here I want to just explain what happens quickly when your body is in toxic overload. This is from a layman's, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, I'm just somebody 
who has lived this and studied this for over 30 years. I eat this, I sleep this, I live this. All right, this is what happens in layman's term when your body is in toxic overload. You see, there are six major organs of detox in your body. The first one being the liver. I call him the head honcho. I kind of think he's a guy. I think the liver is this big guy that lives in your body. But the liver has five helpers. The liver has the kidneys. The liver has a colon. The liver has the sinuses. The liver has the lungs. And the liver has the skin. So obviously, you know, toxins come out in our urine, uric acid. Toxins come out in our feces. Toxins, some of you may not know, come out in our sinuses. Toxins come out in our lungs. 80% of our toxins come out of, come off of our breath from our lungs. And most of us are not breathing, as you know. And then, of course, the skin is the largest organ of our body. Toxins come into our bodies through our skin and also leave our bodies when we move and we sweat. We detoxify. So what happens when the body, which is always detoxing, your body is always in a state of trying to get rid of bacteria and foreign, um, to foreign, what's the word should I say? It's always trying to get rid of toxins. Your body is ongoing, especially when you sleep. That is when your body detoxifies itself. But well, what happens when there's so much toxins coming in through stress, through what we're eating, through what we're putting into our bodies, that the liver, the kidney, the colon, the sinuses, the skin, the lungs cannot process them themselves? What happens? You see, toxins turn to acid in the body. Whether the toxins come from stress, from your thoughts, whether the toxins come from what you're putting on your body or what you're putting into your body, toxins turn acidic in the body. That's just their nature, is to become acidic. What does acid do? Acid corrodes, acid burns, acid kills. But the kidney, the colon, the sinuses, the lungs, and the skin are so overloaded that they can't process how much acid is in your body, what do they do? They start to throw this acid out into your bloodstream. So here you have your beautiful little red blood cells going along nicely in your body through your circulatory system, but all of a sudden they're being dumped an extra load of acid. Two things happen here. One is your beautiful little red blood cells to right to protect from the acid. So instead of flowing freely through your body, they they curd they uh, herd up together, sludge. They're forming sludge inside your body. What are you going to feel like? You're going to feel like sludge. Up in your toxic overload and is that beautiful red blood cells are so, so smart that they form a protective barrier around them. They take mucus, your liver, Mr. Head Honcho, now has to work overtime to create mucus to cover over your red blood cells to protect the acid from coming, protect them from the acid coming in. But what happens is not just the acid is not able to go into the red blood cells, but all the good things that you need to thrive, your vitamins, your phytonutrients, your minerals, your hydration, all of that is not able to go into your blood cells because you are being covered by this mucus. What does this cause? Just imagine, guys, if you got a cut on your finger, you're in the kitchen, you're chopping some veggies, and you cut your finger. What happens? First thing is that you bleed. 
right? Then you find a band-aid and you put it on. And the next day you look and you'll see that there is this white stuff, right? This mucus, this scab being formed. That is your body sending this mucus type substance to stop any bacteria from coming into that open wound. This exact same thing is happening inside your body, except you just can't see it. It's happening in your gut. It's happening in your stomach lining. It's happening around your kidneys. It's happening up in your sinuses. It's happening in your lungs. just below the skin your body becomes inflamed from the inside out as a protective mechanism to stop the acid from corroding and destroying your organs I hope this is making sense to all of you so that is why when we're in toxic overload when there's too much going on in the body we can't have a uh, handle it this is why we get some of these symptoms. End of the day is your body is inflamed. Your body is over acidic. And the minute that you take a little, little time, and it can be three days, it can be seven days. If it's a little more stubborn and you have a little more toxins to work with, some of you may be taking medication for years that is causing toxic overload. It can take 21 days, but if you lower the toxic overload in your body and start to eat more alkalining foods, you will be able to heal these nagging symptoms once and all, once and for all and forever. And you will also then kickstart your metabolism, right? Lose and let go of that inflammation so that your organs now can start working efficiently, and to help you to get to your optimal weight. All right, so there are easy ways to restore your energy and vitality. You see, all of the toxicity builds up in the body, causing your digestion, digestive system, your nervous system, and your endocrine system to be compromised and puts you in a state of discomfort and dis-ease. Every now and then, we need to give the body a time to rest, a time to heal, a time to reset. Detoxing is not a joke. I believe that this is something we need to be doing at least twice, if not three times a year, no matter who you are, just because of the world that we are now living in whether it's because you are overweight and don't feel good. It's just that there's so much toxins coming in that we are not seeing, right? That we need to think about having a lifestyle where we include twice a year, three times a year, every quarter, a time for the body to rest, restore, heal, and reset. We do this by eliminating toxins, toxic food and liquids from our diet, incorporating high vitamin foods into our bodies while resting and restoring with yoga. And if just yoga is not your thing, anything that causes you to de-stress, deep breathing, medica meditation, rest, self-care, and support. So there's seven good reasons why you should detox. One is if you're experiencing one or more of the symptoms of toxic overload for an extended period of time because your body is trying to tell you something. You also need to not just reset your body, but you need to reset your mind. Remember, your mind is most of the problem here with our bodies. <clears throat> you need to detox because you feel like your life is just not in balance. You want to have increased focus, energy, and vitality so you can live your life with purpose and passion. You want to detox because you don't like what you see in the mirror anymore. Detox is, detoxing is the best anti-aging medicine that you can take. I promise you that. Detoxing is also great if you need motivation because you see 
the results so quickly and of course if you want to lose those pounds those vanity pounds detoxing for me is definitely the route to go rather than dieting so all detoxins are not equal um, definitely when I'm talking about a detox it does not mean starvation in fact I'm completely against starving your body um, for me detoxes are not about powders and pills there are many detox programs that do it um, there's not about a juice fast or where you're just drinking juices or like the crazy um, master cleanse where you're doing apple cider vinegar and whatever it was maple syrup everybody knows that one no this is about a lifestyle it is about retraining your body and your mind to live more sustainably and eat more plant-based foods from the earth. So in my detox program, there are three phases. There's eliminate, incorporate, and accelerate, all right? When we talk about elimination, most detox programs are only about elimination. They're like, know this, know that, know this, know that. You're going to just drink juice or different kinds of juices for 10 days, 21 days, whatever it is. I eliminate what I call the toxic triggers and you're not replacing anything in your body and you're just throwing off toxins. You can actually feel horrible that's why people don't really last very long on severe toxic pro uh, detox programs where they're just drinking powdered shakes or they're just doing juices there's only so long that you can last on these kind of things so you have to eliminate but you also have to incorporate what do you eliminate in my program and in what I've seen work for now probably thousands of people is that we eliminate what I have called the bad boys. You may call them the bad girls. I call them the bad boys. And these are the following. Sugar. Sugar is the number one killer, the number one thing. Sugar is more addictive than crack cocaine and many of us suffer with just too much sugar in our body so we eliminate sugar naturally we eliminate dairy so we all grew up thinking or being told that you know dairy and wheat are two of the best things that you can have dairy actually is very mucus producing and causes your whole sinus system to clog and also your your respiratory system so we eliminate sugar dairy wheat I'll tell you why we eliminate wheat I know many of us are told you know eat your wheat it's high fiber it's good carbohydrate the problem is wheat is the most genetically modified food on earth falling closely behind is soy and falling right behind that is corn those three things that are staples in our diet are actually now what scientists are calling call wheat sorry now is what scientists are calling franken wheat so if you were to take a wheat kernel if that kernel from 50 years ago and look at what a wheat kernel looks like now after being genetically modified for over 50 years you wouldn't even be able to recognize that wheat kernel it looks so different and what science is showing is that wheat kernel is going into our bodies and causing all kinds of havoc with our digestive system, with the lining of our gut. So we eliminate wheat, we eliminate sugar, we eliminate dairy, we eliminate alcohol, we eliminate caffeine. Now when I say eliminate, we, you, I, I do allow one cup of coffee with homemade almond milk or something but over processed caffeine oh too much caffeine we eliminate 
we eliminate all acidic producing foods, right? We eliminate all processed foods. And then by taking what we call these bad boys out of our system, out of our diet, out of our daily intake, we then incorporate what I call high vitality, super alkalining foods into our bodies. So there is no starvation. We learn how to bring these foods into our lives. So we have a beautiful green shake in the morning. We have a light breakfast. We have lunch as our main meal that has protein, that has carbohydrate. Of course, it has our vegetables, that has soup and salad for dinner. We have a snack in between. And then we accelerate the program by incorporating stress-relieving techniques such as meditation, such as yoga, such as deep breathing, along with rest and self-care. You would be absolutely incredibly amazed at what just three days of eliminating, incorporating, and accelerating your detox with yoga, with breathing, with resting, with spending time in nature can do for your body. After you have gone through a program like that for seven days, for 21 days, for 12 weeks, whatever it is, then you start to incorporate what I call the 80-10-10 rule of nutrition that you follow 80% of the time. What that means is that you, after you eliminate these things out of your diet, you are able to then stop the cravings. After you learn how to prepare these beautiful, wholesome foods for yourself, you then learn how to lean into more of a plant-based diet where 80% of the time you're eating mostly plants, 10% is protein, whether it comes from animal sources or vegetarian sources, such as beans or nuts or seeds. 10% of, of your plate is complex carbohydrates, not grains or rice, but foods from the earth. And you follow this 80% of the time, so that 20% of your day or 20% of your week or 20% of your year you have whatever you want, what makes you feel happy so that you don't feel deprived, so that you don't binge, and that you maintain a simple but powerful way of eating that serves you for your life. It's not only good for you, it is good for the planet. So that, my friends, is the end of my slideshow. I hope it was not too long, and I'm back now, and I have to say that I, that was my first time using a slideshow in Crowdcast, and I really like to be also in the screen so that you can see me and feel the passion about what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to encourage those of you out there who are feeling so defeated. This has been a particularly challenging time for those of us who are already challenged with maintaining our weight. We are eating out of stress. We are eating out of emotions. We are eating out of fear. We're eating out of boredom. And many, many of us have gained the dreaded COVID-15 or now the COVID-20 pounds. Your regular gym or exercise studio may be closed and you're just feeling really down and depressed about it and not good about yourself. And I want to say, please do not reach for the next diet. You're just gonna start that yo-yo dieting thing that you know already hasn't worked for you in the past and is not gonna work for you in the future. What I want you to do is to consider a simple detox. This is something that you can do at home. Yes, I have a 
day detox coming up if you click this green button right here you can read all about it the dates and the times and it's a beautifully curated program where we spend the first week learning about how we got into toxic overload then we learn about the foods that are high vitality alkaline foods they're all here in the cookbook I wrote this cookbook based on all the recipes that I use in my detox program it's called the Lipid Kitchen. It's available on Amazon. It's a beautifully curate, curated book of over a hundred plant-based recipes. So we practice the first week. We, you, we do meal prep. We learn about how to clear out our pantry, how to prepare our kitchens for a high vitality life. And then we take you through seven days of eliminating sugar, alcohol, wheat, dairy processed foods assisting producing foods um, and then we we also incorporate seven days of yoga seven days of meditation seven days of self-inquiry questions you are assigned an accountability partner that helps you to motivate you and get you through the program we incorporate rest and self-care techniques and then the final week so that's one week and then the final week you segue or you transition into the 80 10 10 rule of eating where you're eating 80 percent plant-based and i help to guide you through this so this may be something that you're interested in. it's coming up very soon you can read all about it here but you could also do this at home on a weekend you can grab a detox buddy make a commitment to each other for three days no sugar no alcohol no wheat no dairy no acidic producing foods you practice yoga meditation you get your eight hours of sleep you spend some time in nature and you can actually eliminate some of those troubling nagging health issues that are signs that you may be in toxic overload so I hope this webinar has given you a little bit of insight to my philosophy that diets don't work not that they don't work short term of course they do but my goal my intention my whole life's mission and purpose has been to help you to has been to help you to live truly fit in a sustainable way for your life that's not only good for you but it's good for the planet and guys we have to start thinking beyond ourselves now and what's good for us but what is good for the whole what is good for the world, for the planet, for this place that we call Earth. So if you have any questions, please put them in the chat. If you have questions that arise after you think about this program or if you're watching the replay, you can always email me. I'd be happy to help you. And do think about joining us for Shakti Activation, my upcoming 21-day yoga detox and self-care program you can read the testimonials there if you click the, land, the green button that takes you to the landing page it is truly a life-changing program and I decided to create this program so that you have these tools in your toolbox not just for this moment right but for your life and for the life of the people that you love so let me just put the glasses on to see if there are any questions. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Virginia. Yes, yes, it's, you know how to do it, my girl. Thank you, Sana. Yes, and for those of you that are experiencing all these symptoms, these are just little signs that your body is saying, hello, listen to me. Pay attention to me. Just give me some time. Your body is truly the most amazing uh, healing tool. It knows how to heal itself. It really does. But it takes a little time. It takes a little preparation. It takes a lot of dedication. So thank you, my friends. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your evening. I love you. I'm really grateful for your presence and for being here. Namaste.